effective. Throw yeah, I would like on. to see Executive continue making workers. He has allowed his opponent to catch back up. It is now 26 to 26. Protoss hasn't made a single worker since that attack. And look at this. Both players going after each other at the same time. Uh, this could amount to a base trade. No units at Executive's base right now. Has so many at his opponents. If only he would have thought to leave a couple sentries behind to keep his opponent out of his base. And here's the attack from Executive. This is definitely enough to clean up what Workhorse has at his main, but he's going to have to worry about what's going down at his own base. He and Workhorse is pushing in on Executive's base, has broken the front. And, and with, this may be very problematic for uh, Protoss as he cannot lift off a building. Right, and Workhorse can just fly that away and be pretty safe or build more. The uh, only thing going for Executive right now is that he does have this probe building more buildings for himself. Unfortunately, he does not have the money to generate another Nexus, so after this Nexus goes down, that will be it for Executive. He needs to make sure he takes out these flying bases. Warcourse slowly Abort. taking out the main of Executive. Uh, it's very shortly going to go down. He actually cancels the upgrades on that forge to give himself enough money. I think he may try to build a Nexus. In this uh, middle base here to the side. And yes, he has. He's gone ahead and built a nexus in the far left base. And all of the, almost all of these buildings are on fire. That's what he wants, but he has to go after this orbital command, at both of these orbital commands actually, before they fly off into the uh, sunset there. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get them. It may be close. It has turned orange. Can he get it into the red? Oh, and Workhorse cannot quite get far enough away. That that back one is going to get put on fire, although he missed the one in the main. The main in the way is still green. The one thing we haven't considered in this is that Executive, I think, still has a stronger army, perhaps, than Workhorse right now. And so if these, if these uh, are to engage, then... Uh, I think maybe the favor goes to Executive with that with those with that speed. I have to agree with you there. I do think Executive could Executive's army, if it engaged properly, would absolutely take down Workhorse's army. That orbital command is going to go down, and and or, if you look at Workhorse's base, he has dropped two mules back in his main. His he's actually retaking his main. Yeah, he needs to get supply up if he wants to make any units. And it looks like Executive's uh, expansion here is going to go down. It, uh, Executive just waiting for this, the sentries to get there before he engages that army of workforce. And here it is. And there he goes. Get a good force field off and he will have this army. Those, that speed is helping him out so much. Uh, looks like all of Workhorse's forces are going to go down. Oh no, and he takes the upper... Wow, a very good play by Workhorse. The only thing that could have saved the remainder of his units at this point. An executive will pull back and watch for him to move that medvac. What an amazing game. Executive has no, has no idea that there is an operable base for Workhorse, and actually is there is a barracks that can still it produce units. does look like Workhorse is going to come down and try and does slip past as the sentries were not there to pick off that med, med ship. He is going for the last few buildings of Executives. He's going to get, he's not going to get there in time. Yeah, not going to get there in time. Those units are... Those sentries may down. take out that... Oh, oh, and there and it goes. goes down. No more units right now. If, for... if Executive can find the base of Workhorse, he's got this in the bag. And he's got to. He's got to find it before Workhorse just decides to float it off. He's actually got 
And he is, trying is he to gonna see this? Wall he's off his, oh, this is a huge mistake by executive. He needs to spread out his units. Yeah, he needs cover as much area as he can. So bad right now. He does not know where to look. He's not even thinking that his opponent would be back in his main. Incredible. And the thing is, Workhorse has a lot of money on him right now. All he needs is the supply, and he can get a, another army up pretty quickly. And he's got the supply now. Does seem to be opting for the Hellions, which are going to do so much damage against those uh, pilots if they get the chance. Executive just racking his brain. Still not going in the right direction. This is... This is hurtful to watch as executive cannot seem to fathom that workhorse would go back to his main strangely enough we also see workhorse with one marine scouting for executive even though his buildings are revealed he doesn't seem to realize that means that he has no more functioning bases he and could perhaps marine. be looking for his final drone but uh, he's not going to find it. It looks like this uh, sentry may finally scout uh, Workhorse's base. And he does. He, I do believe he's going to lose that sentry. Oh, he might make be able it to get out, out of time. There. Yep, it looks like he's going to. But this is going to be harder and harder to take as this is walled off and those Hellions are just going to be able to fire from the outside. But he's got the sentry pushed back in. And here it goes. It looks like he's going to push as soon as possible, and I agree that that's go. good. The bunker is going up, so he needs to go and go now. You see the Hellions going down? The Hellions are going down. And there's, and there's the, GG. the GG! I can't believe it! <laughs> what an incredible game between these two players. I, you know what? I had just given it to Executive. I said, he's going Colossus. He's done with the cheese. And then I saw it. I saw, and I can't rightfully call uh, uh, a warp prism cheese, but it's definitely strange. And that's, this has been the key word for his play in this game, strange. I and couldn't agree more. <laughs> oh, man. 25 minutes. And it was exciting to the very end as uh, both players had one army and no base. And, uh, I, you know, I can't believe it. Executive was able to pull it out. All right, guys, we will see you in the next series of games. Uh, this is the Payne Street Nation. Visit us at PayneStreetNation.com where we have many more tournaments that you can sign up for and play and watch and enjoy. Uh, peace out. Yep.